Welcome again right now at Philippians chapter 1, verses 18 through 30. Paul wants to die, but not yet. Paul says, what does it matter? Only in that every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed. I rejoice in this, yes, and will rejoice. For I know that this will turn out to my salvation through your prayers and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope that I will in no way be disappointed, but with all boldness, as always, now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will bring fruit from my work. Yet I don't know what I will choose. But I am hard-pressed between the two, having the desire to depart and be with Christ, that means to die, which is far better. Yet to remain in the flesh is more needful for your sake. Having this confidence, I know that I will remain, yes, and remain with you for your progress and joy in the faith, that your boasting may abound in Christ Jesus in me through my presence with you again. Only let your way of life be worthy of the good news of Christ. What a powerful thing to say. Only let your way of life be worthy of the gospel. Is your way of life worthy of the gospel? Is your lifestyle worthy of the gospel of the holiest man who ever walked this earth? Only let your way of life be worthy of the good news of Christ, that whether I come and see you or am absent, I hear of your state, that you stand firm in one spirit, with one soul striving for the faith of the good news, and in nothing frightened by the adversaries, which is for them a proof of destruction, but to you of salvation, and that from God. Because it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer on his behalf, having the same conflict which you saw in me, and now here is in me. Wow, you don't hear that being preached at church today, do you? That you are to believe in Christ and suffer on his behalf. Remember in the book of Acts, it says you will inherit the kingdom of God through much suffering, hardship, and persecution. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.